Hello, this is George with the Harmony Trading System, and we're doing our second installment of uh, Learn As You Earn uh, educational series. And we are going to today discuss a little bit about the market and also how to place your stops and how to make them significant to where you're not drowning in the noise of price action. The volatility in the market right now is literally off the charts with NASDAQ making three, 400 point swings uh, in any uh, you know direction, just to kind of give you an idea right here. You're looking at a move today from 653 all the way down to 150. Good Lord, that's a lot. That's uh, 450 points, right? So, and then a reversal, complete reversal of it, the V reaction recovery. So where you put and place your stops and how you place them can really make a difference in your, um, in your profitability. So the, the process in which I uh, use to find a significant support level or resistance level, and then place my stop around it, is first look at a level that has, uh, let me take you to a trade that I actually took. Um, a process in which the market makes a move, let's call it an, an upward move, then retraces, then starts to base. So in the process of basing, you will find out that the market will come to a certain level and it touches that level multiple times. So if the market touches a level three times in which you are getting, uh, for example, you know, we're touching the 75, you come up, you touch it again, and then you rally back up and you touch it, then eventually you started to make a higher low. So you touch it a minimum of twice, then you make a higher low. Then ultimately the stop would be the lowest low of that whole rotation. And in this case, that would be uh, this price right here. So that low. So it's important not to look at the price from the perspective of one event and looking at it from the perspective of a series of events over time. And here you could see how the market made a signal to go by and I, we ended up getting in and out long and we covered. But we saw that price happen, we waited and we saw the market touching this level once, twice, three times, and then it ran up. We bought, bought, bought into this rotation, then bought some more here and bought some more here. And our stop was literally one tick under that level. And that process prevents me from getting chewed up in rotations that not necessarily is basing, but continuing to move in the direction of a short in this case. And in this uh, uh, specific trade, the market ran up in my direction here and I left one contract that uh, eventually ended up hitting that level. So let's take that same concept and look at the next rotation. Market uh, you know, ran up, came retraced, made a low, ran up, made a higher low, but that's just a one and a two touch. The third touch actually broke that rotation. That's fine. So you're looking at a two touch, touches and a higher low, and you're looking at a multiple, multiple candles move in that rotation. Market ran up, then came and retested, and that would be the entry point to go long right here. And the stop is going to be literally one tick under that rotation right here. So that would be whatever that price is. Let's look at it. 41.75. So let's see if we can find you another one. I mean, they, then the market can just continue to go higher and higher and higher. And the same concept apply for the shorts, right? So the market tanks and then runs back up. And now you're looking at a multiple touches. So you have 
That's the first touch. That's the second touch. The third touch, you're looking for a higher low or lower high, and you didn't, make, you didn't get it there. Now you got one, two, three candles, and you broke that neck. So now any, any rally back up into this rotation right here is shortable into that uh, move. Then you got this rotation and a move. So ultimately, that is your stop right here. Anything above uh, 48 and a quarter, 48 and a half uh, uh, move. So make it a rule-based system in the fact that you are looking at a reaction, then a test of that reaction, that, that test that area a minimum of twice. The third time needs to be a higher low and it needs to continue to move in the direction, in this case, long, multiple candles while protecting that higher low, then your stop is actually the absolute low of that whole range. That process keeps me from, from getting, uh, you know, chewed up in a meat grinder type of behavior where the market is just literally just, you know, just taking one or two moves and then tanking or taking a couple of moves uh, or a couple of uh, one or two tests and then running up. That higher low or lower high is critical to uh, defining your stop. And look at how the market behaved. I mean, today was incredible. Incredible in the fact that you, 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 you thought the market is, is, is going for dead here. And then you get a V recovery of all that price action. So just kind of wanted to get online and speak about stops because I know, you know, a lot of us traders, whenever we are facing um, noise in the market, we end up getting chewed up in price action. And that's my process to uh, reduce that type of uh, noise. You guys have a wonderful day and we will see you on the next one.